weighing 159 and one half pounds, here is Marcos Geraldo. And in the ring corner, from Detroit, Michigan, weighing 153 and one quarter pounds, the former WBA welterweight champion of the world, the Motor City Cobra, Thomas Hearn. The referee, Joey Curtis, brings them together and Tommy Hearns in the white trunks then having another test at the middleweight limit. And the run down there on the statistics. And Hearns, of course, lost his version of the welterweight championship to Sugar Ray Leonard and now wants to move up. But in fact, he's still really only a light middleweight. He came in at 10 stone, 13 and a quarter. Geraldo is 11, five and a half. Probably that's the only advantage that the Mexican has. But he's been chosen because he's been the full limit with Leonard and Hagler and wasn't off his feet in either fight. Trouble with Geraldo, he's often been known to have shaky starts, but if he gets over it, he's a troublesome opponent. In boxing pro now since he was 16. And uh, now 27, he knows his way around a bit. Hearns really setting his sights on fighting Marvin Hagler for the middleweight championship. What an attraction that's going to be. And using that exceptional reach, 78 inches, Tommy Hearns. And right from the off, he softens Geraldo up a bit with that, gets the range going. And he tends to lead sometimes with a right hand, catches an opponent really off guard with that. Oh, Geraldo, having tasted Hagler and Leonard's punches, is now in with one of the best hitters in the game. And he just turned that left lead into a hook there, Hearns. Oh, and that right hand just whistled past Geraldo's chin. So I think he knows what's in store. And there he's leading with that right hand now. That's the punch. And the left hand came over, just cuffed him on the side. And I don't think Geraldo's going to make this. He's totally bemused there, the Mexican, looking for some help, but he won't get any. And referee Curtis looks as though he's going to step in. Yes, his legs have gone again. It's a minute and 48 seconds win for Tommy Hearns. Only one defeat in 34. And it's all just a matter of course with him now, just flicking the hands of his friends without hardly working out the sweat. Hearns wins again. Well, let's have a look at that in replay then. And now you know why they call Hearns the Cobra, because he strikes from a distance, keeps the opponent at bay, and he has no chance. He's walking on to the right hand nails road, and he leads with it. There's the first and the second. And the formality of the left hand then comes over. And it's just as well that that punch missed. Ladies and gentlemen, the time. One minute, 48 seconds of the first round. The winner, the mother's of the program, Thomas Hearn.